it's a beautiful, tragic movie. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm Yos Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Fire of Love. It's a documentary. It follows Maurice and Kasia Crab. They're they are French volcanologists. Never said that word before. Uh, they meet on a blind date, and they talk about their love for volcanoes. So this whole documentary follows all their footage of following volcanoes, chasing volcanoes, a couple that's in love with each other and in love with volcanoes. It's it's beautiful just seeing their chemistry and how much they value learning about you know volcanoes and their eruptions and it's a tragedy because they die doing what they love with doing what they love it's not a spoiler because they say it in the trailer you know it just it shows it's like it introduces them and it's like tomorrow's their last day you know then it goes back and you know shows their their journey you know of just studying volcanoes and how close they get to these things it's just crazy like the footage is amazing um they are very similar because you know they love volcanoes but they they have different ways of expressing it and exploring it you know uh katcha she loves taking pictures she loves the the singularity of it you know she takes some beautiful pictures and she likes to study you know study everything and break it down and get a better understanding maurice is more of the adventurer he's the one taking the videos you know he he sometimes gets lost in terms of just always walking away from her because he's taking videos of something and it looks great. He wants to do crazy things. He wants. To, he said he wants to ride lava. Like when the lava is going down towards the river, he wants to get in a boat. You know, he had a whole plan about making the boat a certain way and get in the boat and go down in lava. He, in I think Indonesia, he went in a a river of, a river of acid. You know, like it was legit acid. They were putting things in it, it was, you know, burning it up. So he gets in the boat and his wife didn't want to go and somebody else went with him. And he's they, they like they go out and they try to put down like um, a tube to, to get like samples. And the acid just burns through everything and they lose the samples. And then they spent like three hours on the river before they could get back. And, you know, his wife was pissed. That's how Maurice rocks. And it's just. It's it's different. It's a different type of movie. Just seeing the way they analyze and study volcanoes. They cooking eggs on volcanoes. You know, like just it's amazing. Like I really enjoyed watching it. They they did a good job of informing people about you know volcanoes. It was this one incident where a volcano was getting ready to erupt, and they they sent all the information. I think this was in Colombia. They sent all the information and you know about evacuating, and they didn't they didn't listen to them. They didn't evacuate and like 25,000 people died, you know, because it was like a, a mud slide thing that was going to come down and it eventually uh, the volcano erupted and it came down in the middle of the night while a lot of people were sleeping and it killed so many people. Um, uh, eventually, they started to, you know, listen to them and the information they provided and they were able to evacuate like other locations and save people. Uh, when one of their friends got killed, I believe St. Helena's um, erupted and they they couldn't guess how far like the eruption was going to go so one of their friends was a ways out but the eruption went even further and like it killed them and they, they called that like a gray volcano it's like a gray and a red volcano like in terms of eruptions and the gray ones is the ones that really kill people so they start studying those more and they start go, they go so close to them and they take some incredible pictures and it looks it almost looks like fake like it it's so close it looks like a movie like you can't believe that this is happening to the earth and they they always say that they can't they can't predict the eruption you know it's so much going on that they they can never predict predict it like things start happening you know the rumblings start happening but they can never pinpoint exactly what's happening so it's just um a lot of their footage um they you know, she would write books. He would go on like press, press tours to talk about the movies and films, and that's how they made money. But their real love was like the volcano, and they 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 wanted to stay on the volcano. Like he, he at one point, Maurice says, 
if he could eat rocks, he would stay there. But you know, they come home to recharge and everything and you know, make the books and go on the tours to, to pay the bills. But they really just wanted to be one with the volcano, with the fire. And it said that, you know, they died together. Um, I think they were in Japan, you know, checking out a volcano and it was, it just erupted. And you know, they were, they were right next to each other as they passed away and it was, it was, you know, like I said, tragic. But the information you get from this particular movie is just, it's one of a kind. It was very insightful. Um, I'm not a big, you know, documentary watcher, but if you like them, I think this is something you should check out. It's in the theaters now. It's called Fire of Love. Um, check it out. If you've seen it, please let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Deuces.